According to AP News and NBC News Montana, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is planning on killing almost a half a million barred owls, 450,000 to be more accurate. Kind of reminds me of what China did with their birds. In 1958, Mao Zedong decided that his country to save grain needed to get rid of pests like sparrows. He evidently was told that the sparrows ate a lot of grain, so Zedong ordered the people to go forth and kill all the sparrows. It was called the Great Sparrow Campaign. According to one article, I'll give you a link to it here, um, it says that probably hundreds of millions of sparrows were killed mostly because people chased them until the birds were so tired that they fell out of the sky. The campaign was part of a broader four pest campaign which also targeted rats, flies, and mosquitoes, all with the aim of improving human hygiene. The problem of the Great Sparrow Campaign became evident in 1960. The sparrows, it seemed, didn't only eat grain seeds, they also ate insects. And with no birds to control them, the insect population boomed. Locusts, in particular, swarmed over the country, eating everything they could find, including crops intended for human food. So, to save the imperial spotted owl from potential extinction, the U.S. wildlife officials are embracing a contentious plan to deploy trained shooters in dense West Coast forests to kill almost a half a million barred owls that are crowding out their smaller cousins. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service strategy released today, Wednesday, is meant to prop up declining spotted owl populations in Oregon, Washington State, and California. The Associated Press obtained details in advance. Documents released by the agency showed a maximum of about 450,000 barred owls would be shot over three decades after the birds from the eastern U.S. encroached into the West Coast territory of two owls, the Northern Spotted Owl and the California Spotted Owl. The smaller spotted owls have been unable to compete with the invaders, which have larger broods and need less room to survive than spotted owls. Past efforts to save there, I turned off the fan. I thought maybe the fan might be too much background noise. If it was, I'm sorry. Past efforts to save spotted owls focused on protecting the forest where they live, sparking bitter fights over logging, but also helped slow the birds' decline. The proliferation of barred owls in recent years is undermining that earlier work, officials said. Without actively managing barred owls, northern spotted owls will likely go extinct in all of our majority of their ranges despite decades of collaborative con conservation efforts, said Fish and Wildlife Service Oregon State Supervisor Kessina Lee. The notion of killing one bird species to save another has divided wildlife advocates and conservationists. Some grudgingly accept the barred owl plan, while others say it's a reckless diversion from needed forest preservation. The Fish and Wildlife Service is turning from protector of wildlife to persecutor of wildlife, said Wayne Purcelli with the advocacy group Animal Wellness Action. He predicted the program would fail because the agency wouldn't be able to keep more barred owls from migrating into areas where some have already been killed off. The shootings would likely begin next spring, officials said. The barred owls would be lured using megaphones to broadcast 
recorded all owl calls, then shot with shotguns. Carcasses would be buried on site. The birds already are being killed by researchers in some spotted owl habitats, with about 4,500 removed since 2009, said Robin Brown, Barred Owl Strategy Leader for the Fish and Wildlife Service. Those targeted and included barred owls in California, Sierra, Nevada region, where the animals have only recently arrived and officials want to stop population from taking hold. In other areas where barred owls are more established, officials aim to reduce their numbers but acknowledge shooting owls is unlikely to eliminate them entirely. Supporters include the American Bird Conservancy and other conservation groups. Barred owls don't belong in the West, said Steve Homer with the Bird Conservancy. Killing them is unfortunate, he added, but reducing their numbers could allow them to live alongside spotted owls over the long term. As the old forests are allowed to regrow, hopefully coexistence is possible. And maybe we don't need to do as much shooting, Homer said. The killing would reduce nationwide barred owl numbers by less than 1%, officials said. That compares with potential extinction for spotted owls should the problem go unaddressed. Public hunting of barred owls wouldn't be allowed. The Wildlife Service would designate government agencies, landowners, American Indian tribes, or companies to carry out the killings. Shooters would have to provide documentation of training or experience in owl identification and firearm skills. The publishing in the coming days of the final environmental study on the proposal will open in 30 days, comment period before the final decision. The Barred Owl Plan follows decades of conflict between conservationists and timber companies that cut down vast areas of older forests where spotted owls reside. Early efforts to save the bird accumulated in logging bans in the 1990s that roiled the timber industry and its political supporters in Congress. Yet, spotted owl populations continued declining after barred owls started showing up on the West Coast several decades ago. Across study sites in the region, at least half of spotted owls have been lost, with losses topping 75% in some areas, said Catherine Fitzgerald, who leads the Wildlife Service Northern Spotted Owl Recovery Program. Opponents say the mass killing of barred owls would cause severe disruption to forest ecosystems that could lead to other species, including spotted owls, being mistakenly shot. They've also challenged the notion that barred owls don't belong on the West Coast, characterizing their expanding range as a natural ecological phenomenon. Researchers say barred owls moved westward by one of two routes, Across the Great Plains, where trees planted by settlers gave them a foothold in new areas, or Viva Canada's boreal forests, which have become more hospitable as temperatures rise because of climate change. I do know that Canada's boreal forests have been having a lot of forest fires in you know, the last, I don't know how many years, but maybe that is what's driving um, the owls to Oregon, Washington, and California. I don't know. What do you think? Northern spotted owls are federally protected as a threatened species. Federal officials determined in 2020 that their continued decline merit an upgrade to a more critical designation of endangered. But the Fish and Wildlife Service refused to do so at the time saying other species took priority. There in California, spotted owls were proposed for federal protections last year, and that decision is still pending. So what are your thoughts? Do you just think it's the environment balancing it itself out? Should the Fish and Wildlife Service get involved? 
I would like to know, and please put your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye. Thank you.